Now let us go through the scientific method of silage making. Though the silage is useful, it is not yet popular among farmers. Yellow maize is grown for silage making. Just after milky grain stage, that is by 85 days, crop is harvested with cobs. Generally, sunken silage pits of this type are in use. Here the stone slabs are used for flooring and wall. It is helpful to control rats. Put thick plastic sheets on all sides of the silo pit. Even the cement or stone pit needs plastic layer. This retains moisture in the silage and prevents air and water entering inside. Silage making is the anaerobic fermentation of fodder. Silage gets spoiled if air enters inside. Cut the fodder with a cob to quarter inch size. Let it fall directly into the pit. If the dicot plants are mixed, the nutritive value of the silage will be better. Dissolve 20 kilograms of jaggery in 150 liters of water in a barrel. Put 50 liters of water in another bowl and mix 250 grams of silage microorganism culture. Few private labs produce this silage culture mix. This costs about 13 to 14,000 rupees per kilogram and is sufficient for 100 tons of fodder. This is most important for good quality silage and also for easy digestion. Silage without culture may sometimes create diarrhea in sheep. Mix this culture solution into a jaggery water. Sprinkle the solution at the rate of 10 liters per ton of fodder. This farmer has an easy method for sprinkling. This small tub on the top of the platform contains culture solution. Drip irrigation pipe attached to the bottom of the tub brings down the solution. This pipe opens on the top of the shaft cutter and solution is sprinkled automatically. A tap attached to the pipe controls the flow. One kilogram of common salt per ton of fodder is also added. Complete the filling of the silo pit on the same day. Do not continue for the second day. Trample the fodder in the pit by clean bare feet so that the air inside the heap comes out. Cover the pit with plastic sheet to make it airtight. Put stone or sandbags on it. Silo pit with 20 tons of fodder needs 5 tons of weight. Prevent the rain and flood water entering the silage pit. Rat should not burrow inside. This allows air and insect inside, spoiling the silage. This fodder turns into silage after 15 days of filling and keeps up to 2 years. Size of cutting, amount of trampling and the weight on the top decides the quality of the silage. The silage is good even for goats, cows and buffaloes. One cubic feet space of the pit holds 12 to 15 kilograms of silage. This pit is 30 feet long, 6 feet wide and 10 feet deep. That is 1,800 cubic feet. This accommodates 25 to 30 tons of silage. It is difficult to take out the silage if the depth of the pit is more than 10 feet. Do not open the entire silo pit while using the silage. It is better to open 2 to 3 feet of the length of the pit and exhaust up to the bottom. If the pit is opened like this, covering it again is a must after the usage for the day. Silage can be prepared even with rain-fed fodder sorghum varieties like SSV73, PVK01, GD65195 and GD65174. These also yield 10 tons of fodder per acre. Harvest and cut the fodder along with its grains, irrespective of the variety. This contains 10 to 15% of grain by weight. Hence, the sheep eating 2 kilograms of silage will get at least 200 grams of grain. 
one can escape from using concentrates if this kind of silage is fed. Silage culture used enables easy digestion and increases the availability of nutrients. Sheep will not grow like this if it is fed only with green fodder. Indigestion is not same even if the sheep eats excess quantity of silage. Yellow maize yields 15 tons of biomass per acre. 40 to 50 tons of fodder is available from three crops in a year. Each adult sheep needs one ton of silage per year. So, one can raise 40 to 45 sheep with one acre of fodder. Do not forget to use organic manure and micronutrients to the soil for this continuous crop. Crop rotation is still better. 60 to 65 percent is the optimum moisture content in the fodder to get good quality silage. If the silage contains more moisture, sheep suffers with a shortage of dry matter. Yellow maize is excellent for silage production, but it will not come up well in high rainfall and low fertility areas. One can go for CO4, AP01, Guinea or any other improved fodder grass for silage making or it may be fed as green itself. In this case, 2 kilograms of jaggery per ton of fodder is advised for good quality silage production. But this silage contains no grains. Hence, feeding concentrates is inevitable. Using silage avoids the hectic work of fodder transportation and cutting every day, thus reduces the labor requirement on regular days. Availability of nutrients is more in the silage than green fodder. Sheep eat even tree fodders, mulberry, gliricidia, subabul, sesbenia, hedge lucerne, and the tree fodders like jackfruit, mango, etc. may be fed. Fodder grown continuously on any farm will have a deficiency of micronutrients. These tree fodders will balance the nutrition along with taste. These perennial tree species grow without irrigation. Stall-fed sheep may also be grazed around the shed on weeds and crop residues. This multi-species grazing brings good growth in sheep.